All right, we took the KP9 out today. Shot a lot of different types of ammo through it. It run really good. Running the JMAC Custom Mod 2. Now the Mod 2 will just let you run any type of AR buffer tube, brace, whatever you want to do there. Currently I have the SB Tactical PDW brace on it, but as you see in the video, I ran the SBA3. So JMAC Customs is making a KP9 adapter, which would be a big plus once they actually do, because the KP9 comes with this sling mount, but it's a Russian 5.5 millimeter pin. So in order to use this Mod 2, which is a 4.5 millimeter pin, I had to go to KVAR and get this 4.5 to 5.0 millimeter adapter. And this thing sucked. Most of the range day was given for sanding and filing on this. This pin, the top is a 5.5 millimeter and it tapers down. And you also have this 5.5 millimeter grommet you stick in the bottom. Both of these were too big to fit in the KP9, as well as the center part that tapers down to 4.5 millimeter. It was too big to go in this adapter block. It took us over an hour of sanding and filing this thing. I had to go to the store, get sandpaper. It just would not go in. But once we got that, and it was freezing today, once we fought through the cold and got that done, it worked really good. We got the SBA3 put on it, we put some mags on it straight out of the box, shot two mags of incendiaries. Now I'll get into that a little bit more, but just being able to shoot these different types of profiles, 9mm, is a big plus out of the box. So the KP9, as you can see, it has a hinge dust cover. Mounting rail is already installed. The KP9 comes with a 9.25 inch barrel and half by 28 threads. So this total package with an SBA3 and the Mod 2 adapter installed, 6 pounds 11 ounces, adding 1 pound for a fully loaded 30 round mag. So back on the ammo side, like I said, this thing shot tons of different type of ammo. You know, once you get into these odd style profiles, you know, I have these wide mouth, real deep cavity hollow points, as well as these, if you can tell the profile, sort of a pointed nose, but a real deep cavity. Really hard to cycle those in a lot of my guns. Hornady Critical Duty, I have three AR9s that will not cycle them. They will chamber them, they will shoot them, but the extractor will not grab the case rim and pull it out. I've sent off 9mm barrels to get the feed cone cut at a different angle, chambers rim, just so they can shoot these odd style profiles. And this thing straight out of the box shot it all. You'll even see a mix mag here soon that's shooting different types of self-defense ammo, round nose, pointed nose, high tech and polymer coated, copper plated. You know, worst case scenario, mix mag and it fed every single one of them just fine. It'll do switching up. So if you want to see the internals of this gun or anything else about it, I did do an unboxing video so you can go back and check it out. But 9mm is my weakness, especially 9mm carbines and pistols like this. I've been here before, you may know about my new Dillon 650. I have it set up just for 9mm. As well as you can see in the background, most of that powder and brass projectiles and all that specifically for 9mm. So I really love the cartridge and this thing being able to shoot all the different styles that I can load just straight out of the box, no modifying, is a very big plus. So any of the different links and profiles of bullets that I use for any of my other guns will shoot out of this. I won't have to develop a load specifically for this gun like I have done many guns in the past. I do have an open sight reflex coming. It's definitely going to be a low mount so it's going to be a lot better. The problem with budget optics like this on an AK that have this high mount riser for an AR is when you're cheek welding and you're running that dot at the bottom, the parallax is horrible. So you may think you're on target, but you're shooting three inches off. So you got to hold your face way up here to stay in line so that dot's in the center of the target. Running a low mount, open reflex style, something like that is going to be a lot better.